these are my pear trees that's a hood pear on the right and a pineapple pear tree on the left these trees were purchased from an online nursery back in October of 2019 they're estimated to be about two years old they're going to be trained to grow espalier in this area here these are grafted trees the hood pear requires a uh, pollinator and the uh, pineapple pear tree is listed as a good pollinator for it the pineapple is listed as partly self-pollinating but another variety is recommended for a better crop production and the hood pear is listed as a good pollinator for that one both are uh, low trill uh, low trill varieties the hood pear has a hardiness zone listed as 6 through 10 with 100 to 200 trill hours required it's a early season fruit with a yellowish colored skin and it's supposed to be more resistant to fire blight than a lot of other varieties. The pineapple has the same hardiness zones uh, 6 and 10. It has a chill hour requirement of 200 hours. The fruit season may be slightly ahead of the hood pear uh, the fruit is uh, supposed to be large and true to its name. It's supposed to have a hint of uh, pineapple flavor. It's also supposed to be somewhat uh, resistant to fire blight. Here we are, uh, second week in April, and these trees are still dormant. They're still alive. I did the uh, scratch the bark and check to see if it's still green, and it is. Even the uh, bent is. So they're still alive. They just haven't woken up yet. This one here, you can see it still has good color, still alive. So. They just need a little bit more time to to wake up. Hopefully they'll be waking up soon. Here's what they look like when they were purchased. That's the pineapple on the left and the hood on the right. They came in these uh, three gallon pots. And, uh, as you can see, they both still had some leaves on them when they were purchased. By December, they still had leaves on them, so I wound up stripping all the leaves off and attempt to uh, force them into their dormant period. The first to go in was the hood pear. I dug a small hole down to about two feet deep first couple of feet were uh, well draining soil but after two feet I noticed that the soil was much more compacted. I used a post hole digger and dug a center hole down an additional two feet. I added a little water to test the drainage at that depth which uh, was adequate. I filled the center hole with lava rock in order to maintain good drainage. After removing the tree from the pot, I noticed it was somewhat root bound. I also noticed that the potting soil had wood chips mixed in. I've done some research on this and found that some nurseries tend to mix wood chips into uh, their potting soil mix, which is not, a, not good for the roots. You can search YouTube on this subject. There's a person from uh, Laguna Hills Nursery that has a uh, video lectures on this subject. 
they can explain it in more detail as to what kind of effects wood chips have in potting soil mix. I decided to remove all the nursery soil. I removed most of the dirt by gently rubbing the sides. Most of the soil came off easily. To get the last of the dirt off, I used a water hose. Once all the soil was removed, it was clear to see how the roots were starting to get root bound. Before placing the tree in the hole, I sprinkled some mycorrhiza on the roots and added some, uh, you know, I also added some into the uh, planting hole. I then placed the tree in the ground and backfilled the hole with a mixture of native soil, organic soil mix, sand, and worm castings. I also spread some azomite around the uh, planting area. The tree was planted at a slightly elevated level in order, in order to avoid the uh, possibility of root rot. I intend to lower the uh, soil level in this planting section by removing some of the fill dirt. As soon as I do, I'll add some wood chips on the top and uh, bring the level back up. The pineapple pear was planted in pretty much the same manner. I still need to build the uh, trellis area here so that I can begin to espalier these trees. Well, that's it for the pear trees. So I'm not going to be building the uh, trellis anytime soon. I'm going to wait till these trees get a little, little bit more established in this area. And I'll, I'll be sure to post a, a follow up video as soon as I complete that project. I'm not sure what the next area I'll be working on. I have a couple of sections in my backyard I'm considering for my next project. I have some uh, papayas that I'd like to plant in this section over here, right about where that rosemary is, up to probably that area right there. I'd like to plant these papayas that I have here. These three here are the uh, uh, Red Lady variety. These are self-fruiting varieties. Uh, they're only supposed to get a, up to a height about six to eight feet. So they should, they should fit well in that section over there. This one here, uh, the top broke off by some falling debris from the neighbor's tree. But um, as you can see, it's starting to put off some branching here. So it should recover. This other one, This one here, I'm not really sure what type of papaya it is. It was a gift, so I don't know. I do know that it's a female because it's flowered uh, before. All the flowers were all female, so it's gonna require a pollinator. It's about four years old, so hopefully next time it, uh, it flowers, it'll flower about the same time that the uh, uh, self-rooting ones flower so it'll get pollinated. This last one here 
This one I grew from seed. It's about two years old. We got the seed from a store-bought papaya, so I'm not really sure what variety or that even if it's male or female, it hasn't flowered yet, so I don't know. And hopefully we'll find out uh, pretty soon. This area here is another section I'm considering as my next project. Not exactly sure what trees will be going here. I'm considering these lychee trees. Uh, they're both budding, as you can see. This one is also. They both have plenty of buds, but they're still pretty young, so I'm not sure if they'll set fruit or even if I want them to set fruit. We'll have to wait and see. This lychee here flowered last year, but it lost all its uh, flowers without uh, setting any fruit. We'll see how it does this year. This other low quad here is another one I might be planting in this area. So, gold nugget low quad. Had it here in the sun for a little over a month now. Seems to be liking this area, so it might be planted in this area too. Well, that's it for this video. If you liked it, uh, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to follow along in all the work I'm doing here, uh, please subscribe. And until the next video, stay safe and thank you for watching.